everyone, we're back. Well, sadly, we're back at home again now with the post Disney World blues, but we have so many great vlogs lined up for you again that we're excited to share. Greg and I just had an amazing trip at Walt Disney World with Greg's mom, Tamara, and his sister, Sydney. We are going to be sharing our incredible trip with you each week with all of the fun we had in the parks and all of the great dining locations we ate at. During this trip, we stayed in the Grand Estino Tower at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. But in this video, we're going to show you what Greg and I like to do on our first Disney day. Greg and I arrived at Disney a day before his family did, so as we waited for their arrival, we decided to resort hop. One of my favorite things to do on property while not at the parks is to check out the different resorts and the unique things to do there. So in this video, join Greg and I as we head to the Polynesian Resort for breakfast, then check out Animal Kingdom Lodge, explore a bit of Disney Springs, and then get the boat over to Port Orleans French Quarter to try their famous Mickey beignets. Happy day one! He's so excited on a Disney World vacation. It's been too soon. No, it, it's no such thing as too excited? soon. We're going for Tonga toast at the Polynesian. We're now in line for the monorail. Are you happy? You do? That's unfortunate. Why? Because we're waiting for the monorail. Yeah, but there's bathroom on the monorail. No, no, no. no. The world's monorail. <laughs> Kicking off the trip with the most magical breakfast on earth. We got our Mickey waffles, some bacon, and Greg got the Tonga toast, which the Polynesian is famous for. We are excited to dive in. Good? Do I get a bite? I need a bite. Is it what you imagined it would be? Mm -hmm. No, is it better? Mm -hmm. Really? What would you rate it out of 10? The first bite, probably an 8 because a little dry but it was really good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm about to get into the good stuff. Oh, there's banana in it? Is that what that is? I think so. It tastes like that. I would like to try. Mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> Just a little bite? Oh, I thought that was going to be for me. I don't know why. Mm. I need to try it. There's Come banana. On. Come on. Oh look, you can see the banana poking through. You're gonna give me the end without the banana. <laughs> mm. I like the cinnamon. And my Mickey waffles are absolutely a 10 out of 10 because they're fun, they're Mickey shaped, and they're the best thing to start off the Disney World trip with. He's just shaking his head at me. So we're done breakfast, and would you get the Tonga Toast again? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, still an 8 out of 10, or did it get up? Mm -hmm. 8 out of 10. Like a nine. Oh, it's a 9 out of 10. Okay, he's changed his mind. It's a lot of banana. It is a lot of banana, but you are happy with it, so it still was better than you imagined it to be. Excellent, excellent. Well, that was a successful day number one breakfast. It was magical. I wouldn't say magical. Yeah, it was magical. Mm -hmm. I got full, so there's one Mickey waffle left, but that was delicious. After breakfast at the Polynesian, we hopped on the monorail to bring us to the Magic Kingdom bus stops. Stop in our random resort hopping adventures is Animal Kingdom Lodge because I've never been there before and Greg has and I really want to see it and see I'm the saying, animals. I'm a Disney aficionado. <laughs> the Encanto bus is so cute. We're on the bus to Animal Kingdom Lodge. So excited to resort hop to Animal Kingdom Lodge. This is a Disney first for me. It's not, but it's so cool. And this 
This is when we realize that we got off at the wrong bus stop, Kadami Village instead of Animal Kingdom's main lodge Jumbo House. Let's try this again. Here we go. Getting the famous zebra doll and the shaken Jamaican. So at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, we got these zebra domes that they're famous for, and the shaken Jamaican. Not that one. So this coffee's pretty strong. So if you like strong coffee, the shaken Jamaican by Joffrey's is for you. Greg just snuck the zebra dome, how is it? What? I think you did, there's one missing. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Can I eat it with a spoon? My hands are dirty. Mmm. They have like a mousse in the middle. And I like mousse. I'd say 8 out of 10. Mm. Why? And they're nice and cold. And it's really hot out. And it's mousse. Why? So I love mousse. Why? <laughs> Don't you start with the why. Why? <laughs> You can pick that one bite. Why are you just doing that thing? Like, are you embarrassed? I'm classier than you are. Mm. Mm. What would you rate it? A seven. Seven? Mm. They're very good. Fun to try. Joffrey Shaken Jamaican. Like I think I said, but it might have been too loud in here. Very good, but very strong. So if you like strong coffee, this is a great one. I know this is a popular one, but I'm going to rate this one a 6 out of 10. Why? <laughs> it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Why? I don't know. Is it better than the one you had this morning? Yeah, this morning at Coronado Springs we had the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. And I love sweet cream cold brews, but it was really sweet, so it was more Greg's kind of coffee. Pretty strong. It is pretty strong. It'll get you revved up for Disney, though. Bulma's booming. Look at these cool plants. This is a thing to you nerds. It's, hey. <laughs> Very excited, my wonderful loving husband just bought me my first, this is my first lounge fly. And it's so cute. It's got all the Disney animals on it and I'm a huge animal lover. So this was the perfect one for me. This and is he what doesn't you look like it. when you eat. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> this is all I hear out of you. Yip yap. That's rude. <laughs> oh, we didn't show you our new magic band. That's Greg's. This is mine. Our first magic band plus. We haven't seen the cool stuff yet, but we'll find out. Okay, so this is the first time this has ever happened to us, but for the remainder of this one day, I completely lost audio in our videos. It's the strangest thing. Anyways, this is just me telling you that I'm sadly downgrading my shaken Jamaican to a 4 out of 10, as the aftertaste is just really throwing me off. So now we're going to hop on the bus and make our way to Disney Springs for some pizza at Pizza Ponte. Pizza Ponte is a more recent addition to Disney Springs known for their Sicilian style pizza by the slice. Greg is a huge pizza lover and he was determined to check it out. Unfortunately, both pizzas that we tried left a bit to be desired. I would say my Parmacato pizza was about a 5 out of 10, and Greg rated his pepperoni about a 5 out of 10 as well. He said it wasn't bad, just definitely don't rush here to get pizza. It's nice there's a pizza option in Disney Springs now, but the pizza options on Disney property continue to be on the weaker side. 
Did you know that from Disney Springs, you can get a boat ride over to Port Orleans French Quarter and Port Orleans Riverside Resorts? If you have some extra time, we recommend doing this. The boat ride over is relaxing and takes only about 10 to 15 minutes. We got off at Port Orleans French Quarter to go to Scat Cats Club Cafe to try their famous Mickey beignets. Now, super unpopular opinion, but I'm not a beignet person. I've tried them here before and the ones in Disneyland and they just aren't for me. But Greg absolutely loved them just like most people do. But you do need to eat them fresh and hot or they aren't very good. Greg rated these a 10 out of 10. So let us know in the comments below, do you enjoy beignets or am I the only weird one here? If you watch it in reverse and then slow motion, you can see exactly how messy these are though. After beignets, we walked from Port Orleans French Quarter to its sister resort, Port Orleans Riverside, to see the beautiful properties. These are both really great moderate category resorts to stay at in Walt Disney World. From Port Orleans Riverside, we got the boat back to Disney Springs and then we hopped on the bus back to our resort at Coronado Springs to wait for Greg's mom and sister to arrive. This is where we lucked out and got to see some of the characters visiting the resort. We're back at Coronado Springs and Greg's mom and sister are about to get here. Exciting. Exciting. We're going to get some iced tea in and our little lobby lobby. Mix. In the lobby lobby. That's what we call the lower lobby. The lobby lobby. The lobby lobby. LL lobby lobby. <laughs> One L lobby. Two L's lobby lobby. What did you order from the Laguna Bar? Everything hurts. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> nutmeg, I think. Yeah, <laughs> there is nutmeg. No what would you rate it? Like a six. Six out of ten. I just got a margarita on the rocks, and of course, it's a ten out of ten. Is it? Yeah, it's delicious. Try it. It's a margarita. Yep, it's a margarita. Like when I say. <laughs> How would you rate that out of 10? Oh my goodness, I would rate it like, you know, an 8 out of 10. There's no room for improvement. <laughs> well, that's it for our first vlog of our latest trip. If you like this video, we would greatly appreciate if you subscribe and follow along on our next adventures. Thanks for watching.